Prince Harry's true feelings towards King Charles revealed after telling gesture. Hello viewers, welcome to Royal Unlock. Please make sure to subscribe and hit the notifications bell, so you don't miss any updates about the British monarchy. Prince Harry's true feelings towards his father, King Charles, were subtly revealed by an obvious gesture during the coronation, according to a royal watcher. The historic event took place at Westminster Abbey, almost a year after speculation began over whether Harry and his wife, Meghan Markle, would attend the ceremony. It came after the release of Harry's controversial memoir, Spear, in which he criticized his royal relatives, including his father and stepmother, Queen Camilla. Despite the controversy, Harry chose to attend the coronation ceremony without Meghan, and made a short trip from his home in California to attend the occasion. He arrived at the Abbey with Princesses Eugenie and Beatrice and their spouses Jack Brooksbank and Eduardo Mopelimozzi, but was not seen interacting with Charles or his estranged older brother, Prince William. However, royal author Robert Hardman points out that Harry made an important gesture towards the king when he left the abbey after his coronation. In his book Charles III, The New King, The New Court, Hardman wrote, When the anthem reaches the end of the first verse, the king is next to the royal seats with the Princess of Wales and the Duchess of Edinburgh, both at the front. In the row, they indulge in bows that reach floor level, all the men bow including the Duke of Sussex in the third row, and he clearly has his head down longer than most. Prince Harry is set to return to the UK next week without Meghan to attend a ceremony to mark the 10th anniversary of the Invictus Games. A Thanksgiving Mass will be held at St Paul's Cathedral in London on Wednesday 8 May. The Duke of Sussex is expected to deliver a reading at the event, which celebrates a decade since the opening of the Invictus Games in London in 2014. The Games were established as a sporting event for injured and sick military personnel and veterans. This will be Harry's first visit to the UK since he visited King Charles after he was diagnosed with cancer in February, and it also marks his first attendance at a major event in Britain for some time. While there has been no confirmation that other members of the royal family will attend, it has been confirmed that Meghan Markle will not accompany her husband. The service comes just two days after their son Archie's fifth birthday on May 6. It is reported that King Charles will meet his son while in the UK. After the London event, Harry and Meghan are set to travel to Nigeria, following an invitation from the West African country's chief of defense staff, who met the Duke at the Invictus Games in Dusseldorf last September. During their visit to Nigeria, the couple will meet military service members and their families and participate in traditional cultural activities, according to Nigerian media. More details about the visit have not yet been revealed. The Defense Command expressed its honor and happiness, as reported by local newspapers, after accepting its invitation from Harry and Meghan, the latter of whom has Nigerian roots. This will mark their inaugural visit to Nigeria as a couple. Thanks for watching, please don't forget to subscribe. See you in our next video.